Hi everyone and welcome to this channel. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to get one of the best builds out there. And the name of this build is Dick Xenon Build, okay? So all you have to do is to make sure you watch this video from the beginning to the end. As I'll be showing you a step by step guide on how to do this. So without wasting much of your time, let's get started with what, what we have today. Let's go. So first thing to do is to go to settings. So the settings icon, click on it. Click on the settings icon and then go scroll down and click on systems. System when you click on it, then you click on scroll down, click on add-ons, click on add-ons, and then navigate to unknown sources and click on it, and then enable it. Enable it and then click yes. And then go take a, take a step back, click on the back button, and then here when you get to this point, click on File Manager, and then click on Add Source. Click on Add Source, and then click on None. Once you click on none, now enter this URL the way it is. Make sure you enter it. Double check, triple check. After you must have entered the URL to make sure that the URL is correct. So click um, HTTPS dix1.me slash dixrepo. After that, click OK and then continue the process that follows in this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe, enable notification, and then let me know your thoughts. Your thoughts is very important. Comment, comment, so that I will know what you think about this particular build. Yeah. So click OK, and then click scroll down and click OK to click OK. Click OK, and I'll go back. Click on the back button and then now here click on add ons. Now sc scroll down and click on install from zip file. Click on it and then click on Dix repo. Or if you use a different name, you can click on them you use to save the media file and then click OK. Click on the repository dot or click OK, depends. And then we have to wait for the repo to install before we proceed to the next step. So the repo has already installed in the screen. Now all you have to do is to click on install for repository and then we are good to go. Now click on Dix, re Dix repository. Now click on program add-ons. Now click on Chef Omega Wizard. Click on install and then click OK. Now you have to wait for the installation to initiate, download and complete. So while we are waiting for the whole process to complete before we move to the next step, it's always recommended to use Kodi with a VPN. A VPN masks your online identity and then gives you 100%, if not 99% um, um privacy why you are on the internet so there are a lot of vpn out there you can get just go get the one that is um according to your pocket pocket friendly without any hitting charges you can go for the one month subscription three month subscription or six month subscription so just make sure you get a good vpn this is how i would recommend ip vanish or not vpn check out them get them and then use them with um when you when you are online to protect your privacy okay so the chef omega wizard is already installed so we are waiting for it to finish after we, which we must have finished we can now proceed to choose the kind of build we want to have in this um our in in this process okay so if you are not to this channel please subscribe enable notification let me know your thoughts i always say your com your thoughts is very important in the comment section as this helps to 
let me know what you think about the videos and where to make improvements and what kind of content you want to have next okay so yeah so we already installed the check for mega wizard so when once after, after installing it you, you see this pop-up dialog box click close once you click close you wait a while you wait a little bit for the um another when you see this okay click yes once you click yes then you have to wait where it will take you to the list of views you can choose from so these are the views within this chef omega wizard omega wizard you can choose any of this build so we are we are, we are choosing the dix xenon free version one so click on it and then click continue and then it will initiate the installation and everything will continue going so make sure you are watching this for the, this video from the beginning to the end and make sure you are following the steps i have done so far to this level now so i believe if you are following everything judiciously the way i did i'm pretty sure that um, you will not have any issue with the process of having this particular build on your device the steps are quite easy and straightforward all you have to do is make sure you watch it step by step with attention yeah so that's it guys that's how to have this particular build on your device okay so let me know your thought like i always say your thought is very important in the comment section like this video share with your friends who want who might likely need this kind of build in their on their device or at home so that's it guys let me know your thoughts and then subscribe and then i see you guys in the next one thank you for the support so far i really appreciate yeah thank you guys mm.